hello guys this is a next uh, video in the series we are going through this is video number six and in this session we will specifically talk about uh, AIF error handling FAQs it's not a configuration session or uh, of course that will come later uh, but it is purely focused on some questions which I received from several people on FA on AIF error handling how it works what it looks like how it takes so just few questions on that but this focus topic as I promised each each day or in each video I will come up with a specific topic so as I said video number six objective this is the sixth video and focused specifically on AIF error handling for today so what is AIF we always say AIF is a key component so AIF is a application interface framework generally known as AIF is an SAP add-on standard SAP that provides a framework to streamline the implementation and monitoring of your day-to-day -day interfaces built-in configuration tool allows easy mapping and validation of business values and business rules so it's a standard SAP tool an add-on uh, or a bolt-on built on top of SAP and embedded within system itself configuration has to be done accordingly and uh, this is basically for monitoring purposes and central finance specifically leverages this is one of the very core and the key component of any CFIN project and I will explain you why and how this is just a view how it looks like uh, at the bottom if you see the screen uh, interface monitor and then you have uh, I'll explain you how these messages are if we, you sh we should be able to read the messages how and what some explanation of AIF uh, what it is all about any document post and it is specifically we are talking on in central finance we don't worry here about other interfaces traditional ERP or ECC or any other interfaces only CFIN any document posted in source will pass through AIF whether it is a success or a failure so when we start replication uh, in the real world of the after go live any document accounting document posted in the connected source system will pass through AIF it will fail it will pass it depends but it will you will see that in AIF the result relevant team needs to work to ensure the failure reasons are work for example if there is a document failed because vendor mapping does not exist vendor A is in created in ECC posted an invoice and then that invoice is in, on the way and then it find vendor A does not exist or mapping of vendor A does not exist in CFIN so then that fails so that error reason needs to work out you need to create a vendor you need to create an invoice uh, sorry mapping and then after changing the details and once the error reason is worked out the message needs to be reprocessed so there is an option where you can select the message and reprocess it just starts reading the program and it really gives you it again it may go into different error because of some other reasons or it will pass changing details in AIF should not be allowed in the interest of data integrity very important point from security and authorization perspective from data integrity and compliance perspective there is an emergency transaction which can allow you to change something but it should not be used in a general way if something is coming for company code a and you change it to company code b system will post if all the mappings and everything exist in cfin but it's it's wrong it's compliant it's uh, you know non-compliance in terms of post changing the data after reprocessing it will either give error as we already talked about and you have option to select the error messages for particular date and date range so it gives you a calendar option so you have a calendar on the right hand bottom side of the screen and then of the AIF screen that the screen I showed you in the previous section you have a calendar hover it if all the messages on particular day is success if the date is green if all if there are some failure the date is red you can select particular date or the date range you can say 15 June or you can say 1st June to 30th June you can see everything depending on what what amount of messages are coming the tool is really handy and very very nicely built some key transaction codes for the people who really want to understand and those who have access to the system please give a try uh, if mon it's error monitoring transaction again another one fin c fin if mon monitoring transaction emergency transaction i just told you err where you can change xml restart to to restart the message sometimes message are stuck because of technical reasons rfc failure or memory issues so there it's a you can start the mass messages and sometimes you need to delete the message 
so if you need to delete and this is gen done generally done during the test phases that you do something and then you realize no the data is not correct and rather than working on the errors you want to delete the initial load and then you need to delete the AIF messages also so in that case you need this authorization in general world this this transaction is not allowed may not be even given to the users how it looks like so this is the way it looks like so if you see in the top part you have a namespace fincf uh, which is central finance specific then you have accounting documents you have the document changes external interface when you have non sap systems on source side then you have a controlling document controlling document simulation cost object which is a ufk table internal order production order process order then profit center and then some project system master data so now if you see on the right hand side of the same screen you have all then you have some warnings you have some errors you have tech errors and you have success success carries a flag success means it's pass and if you see errors you click on any one of the error and then you see at the bottom you have a lot of errors here activity types for example labor is invalid here then you correct the activity create an activity type or change it and then you just select the message either you can select all if it is same nature or you just select for example first one 14th may and then 18 17 select it and on the top if you see there is an option for reprocessing repost sorry restart if you see after read there is a restart button you click the message and click restart it will again process the message and see and the pro posting program will start execution either success or failure and at the bottom if you select the message you have document header you have cost line item details of particular document so that's how the aif looks like status so there are a lot of message status so if it have just created new in aif it is new assigned means it is already applicable to process next the started means it is already started the processing it is basically a queue and you can search the messages by status in aif so if you see on the top uh, we have fincf then co doc means co document interface we are talking about then we have can put creation date on particular date by any user you created and then you can select by message type finished means completely finished processed and then reprocess means you can reprocess those messages so those are the status standard sap defines this this is the screen where xml restart where i said you can select the messages in mass if there is some technical failure in between during the processing do i need authorization to see the error messages yes you will not be able to see any error messages if you log into transaction n aif slash n slash aif slash if mon it will show you no content to display unless your id is available and added here in this screen so you see in fin so if a namespace you have uh, new entries your user id is there there is a specific transaction to to reach this screen i will talk about that transaction when we do the configuration uh, in namespace fin cf recipient for alert receive in underscore recipient then what type of messages functional include technical and you save it and then your user id temp01 will be able to see your all will be able to see the messages which are getting under this in namespace fin cf so a lot of time uh, people say, uh, put up a question I, I i've been into system but i can't see error messages it says no content to display so this configuration or i would say adding a user id in the system is missing in this step that's why uh, it says uh, that's why uh, this people are not able to see it icons of the messages so you see as i mentioned flag and then green flag scheduled manual restart when you restart the message it gives that unless it is new status it keeps on giving this processed automatic restart i'll not read all those so those are the standard uh, flags or i would say standard icons which are provided within aif and with their description what it means so in terms of aif uh, that's all for today of course i will cover the specific uh, video in one of the specific video i will cover about talk about configuration of aif uh, on the system coming to the next videos uh, what we will do is uh, so if you see these are the 
topics which are coming up if AIF error handling is complete we will talk in further uh, videos we will talk about all these uh, topics one by one FAQs and of course the relevant areas like specifically central finance central payment and uh, SLT RFC connection we will cover in configuration sessions as well as we move on in the game so these are the key areas which we will talk about so please ensure you subscribe to the channel like uh, like the video and share with your peers and colleagues who want to learn any questions you have feel free to post it in the YouTube comment I will pick that up Thank you so much for now. Stay tuned and have a rest of your day. A very good day. Thank you.